Welcome back, little ones. Welcome back, family members. Glad you all can make it back to another glorious day that the Lord has made. I hope when you got up this morning, you gave Father God thanks. He gets all the honor, praise, and glory because it belongs to Him and only Him. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Let us go right into prayer. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that we say thank you. We're grateful to you and for you. We're grateful for who thou art. Thou art our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Abba! Father, we know who you are. And we hear your voice. And we follow none other. Glory be to God. We are the sheep. And we hear the shepherd's voice. And we follow him and none other. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we know that you're the one and only true God. And thy name is faithful and true. There's no God before you, no God beside you. And there will be no God after you. Glory be to God. You are omnipotent. You reign it. You are in charge. You always have been. You always will be, Father God. And you have the victory. The victory is already won. It's only a matter of timing. It's your will, your way, your timing. And you and us and we and you, we have the victory. You and us and we and you, there ain't nothing we can't do. And you and us, you strengthen with us, Father God. Father God, we pray and ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you help us, Lord God. Help us to stand on that path of righteousness for your name's sake. Help us to fight that good fight of faith. Help us to stand right up, upright at all times, Father God. May we not lean to our own understanding, but enlarge you in all thine ways, so you may direct our paths. Father God, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for all to come to the truth. To come to the truth. That Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. His death, burial, and resurrection, nailed, he nailed it to the cross. We've been forgiven. Let us all strive for holiness and holiness only. Holiness only. Let our faith be in Christ Jesus and He alone. Let us not be double-minded, moving to the left, to the right, keep shipping and changing directions. We got to stand still and stand upright. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father God, for the gifts you've given us to help us along the way. Thank you, Father God, for your holy angels that watch over us each and every day, all day, while we work and play and while we at rest. Even when we work and play and while we at rest. Thank you, Father God, for the gift of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus for the remission of our sins. The blood of the Lion for the remission of our sins. Paid in full, though we know we need to work out our own salvation. And the and trembling of the Most High. The study to show thyself approved. Thank you, Father God, for the gift of the Holy Spirit that guides us to all truth. Glory be to God, also known as the Comforter. Father God, we can never say enough thank you. Thank you for your long suffering, not easy to hang, a trace that we all need. Thank you for your grace and mercy. If not for your grace and mercy, we would not be here. Thank you, Father God, for keeping us and not forsaking us. Thank you for loving us when we could not love ourselves, Lord God. And we will never forsake thee. We love you with an everlasting love. Use us for your glory and your glory alone. Every member of our body belongs to you and only you, Father God. Use us for your glory and your glory alone. Everything I do is for your glory and your glory alone, Father God. Help us, Father God. We're trying to make it in. We try to be counted worthy, Lord God. We want to be counted worthy, Lord God. To be caught up at your return, Father God. To be caught up. Thank you, Jesus. At your return, we want to be caught up in that rapture moment. Changing the twinkling of the night to that glorious body. Fight that good fight of faith. Reign with you and live with you through eternity. We live here, but we're not up here. We have a home. Our home's in a heavenly kingdom with our heavenly Father. We, that's what we're trying to get. Hallelujah. And we got to hold on. We got to fight. We got to save souls while we're here. Not, not moving over to the left, not moving over to the right, not being double-minded, not keep switching back and forth. Stand still. Be still. Be silent. And listen for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hear his voice when he speaks. Glory be to God. Let yourself be used by the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Father God, we plead the blood of Jesus of our home, or the foundation of our home, of each and every one of us in our home, our going and our coming. Over our belongings and our possessions, over all the listeners and all those in the body of Christ. Father God, we ask in my name, Jesus Christ, may you please place a head of protection around our home, around the foundation of our home, around each and every one of us in our home, our one and our coming, over our belongings and our possessions, over all the listeners and all those in the body of Christ. And Father God, we ask in my name, Jesus Christ, may you please bless our home, bless the foundation of our home, bless each and every one of us in our home, our one and our coming, bless our belongings and our possessions. And Father God, bless the listeners and those in the body of Christ. And Father God, we know in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you help us to guide our eyes, heart, mind, and soul at all times. Because evil's waiting to pounce even at the door. And we won't let him in. No, we're not letting him in. We're striving for holiness and holiness only. Living in Christ's life. Living in life of righteousness for ye name's sake. And we proclaim Jesus Christ in he alone. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, help your children. Help us, Lord God. We're not letting the evil win in. No, he's not welcoming neither anything or anyone connected to him. Nothing evil we want. Light has nothing to do with darkness at all. Hallelujah. We're not letting him in. No, he's not welcome. The evil one's not welcome. Nothing evil's welcome. Not in our home, not in our body, not in our soul. Not any member of our any part of our soul. And not in any member of our body. From head to toe, he's not welcome. A holy pair of righteous knowing no sin life was given for us to have life, so our lives don't belong to us. And our blessings are holy, because our Father which are in heaven is holy. And these holy blessings belong to the Holy Spirit. And he alone, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, pray. Father God, we in the body of Christ, we welcome those in the body of Christ. May we all edify one another, pray with them, pray for one another, pray without ceasing, fast. Bear one another's verse, give love and charity, because they cover our multitude of sin. Glory be to God. Let us all give cheerfully. Give cheerfully, but let us all be minded. Everything that's, that, that is given is not given on, on solid ground. And not and make sure that, Father God, that you consult with the Father first. Consult with Him first. Give all to Him. Give it to Him. And let Him direct your way. Let Him lead your way. Hallelujah. You want to be blessed. You don't want somebody, you, you, you're sowing on something that ain't, ain't solid. The Father knows our hearts. And he knows also everyone's heart, even those that you sow to. So let us be mindful. Let us have love in our hearts for one another. And if you give, give cheerfully. Don't have any gruntle or no dismay about it. Do it in love. Love of the, God, of the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. We love you, Father God. We can never say enough. Thank you. Thank you for our family members, loved ones, friends. Thank you, Father God, for you being who you are. Thank you, Father God, for all that you do have done and will do. We love you, my Father. We can never say enough thank you. Father God, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for all that are need, all over the world that are in need of comfort, including the saints, that you comfort any and all that are in need of comfort. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, we pray for our president to do what is right, that he lead not to his own understanding, but not you in all thine ways, and that you may direct his path. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, for all laws of abortion to be aborted right here, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for all the safe havens to be built. Right here, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your will, Father God. We know that you, evil is running rampant and you must do what you must do. So, Father God, we ask that let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And, Father God, please remember your children. Please have mercy on your children. And we thank you, Father God, for having mercy on your children. Having mercy. With all that came down with California, that you still have mercy, Father God. You are a merciful God, a holy, pure, righteous God, a just God, the one and only. And you are so full of love and mercy and grace. So let us all be mindful and be thankful and grateful. Hallelujah. Give him praise, honor, and glory because it belongs to him and only you. Only him. It belongs to you, my Father. Only you. Father God, thank you. And Father God, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for Father, so that you say, Father God, we know that your, whatever you say is going to come through. It is going to come through. It will not uh, come back void. It, and uh, your word is spirit and truth and it gives life. And Father God, we pray that whatever you say for the riches that was uh, stored up by the wicked and the rich, that they be given to the poor. And they given to those whom you intend for it to, to be given to, Father God. And we say thank you and we believe it and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that those that receive the gifts of you, Father God, the blessings from you, Father God, because all good things come from on high. They come from you, my Father. May they be, be, may they be willing, truthful, and obedient to do your will. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, so we pray. We thank you, my Father. We thank you, Father God. We can, we can never say enough thank you. Is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, and say that we pray. Father God, we can't say thank you enough. We're grateful to you and for you. We're grateful for any and all. And without the saved souls of Christ Jesus, to convert them back to, to Christ. He's the way, the truth, and the light. There's no other way to salvation. If you're thinking there's another way to salvation, con which goes contrary to, doctrine, to, to, um, contrary to the word, it is not going to happen. As Father God says, what he says, it will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. It will be done. Hallelujah. So let us all repent and turn from our wicked ways and receive Jesus Christ into our life, into our life to be our Lord and Savior today. For whatever reason, if you've fallen away, please repent. And if you have not received the Lord thy God today, you have not received him as yet, 
Please receive him into your life. Call on him. Cry out to him. In sincerity and truth. And we thank you, Father. We cannot say enough. Enough thank you. We're grateful to you and for you. We're grateful for any and everything that you do have done and will do. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. We worship you. We exalt you. God bless you, Father God. We praise our holy name. You're worthy to be praised each and every day, all day. We glorify the holy name to God. Be all the honor, praise, and glory. We love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Every member of our body belongs to you and only you, Father God. We say, use this for your glory and your glory alone. Everything I do is for your glory and your glory alone, my Father. And you're greatly to be praised, by the way. And we love you with an everlasting love and we'll never forsake thee. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen and hallelujah. And we seal this prayer to my Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, with a holy kiss. And it's in the mighty name, the holy, precious, mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen and hallelujah.